I wanted to show off a little bit of a um, keyer, a Morse code keyer that supports an iambic keying. And uh, I've created this digital circuit uh, simulation. And it uses two shift registers uh, and um, then some logic here to control how the shift registers, uh, whether they uh, just get loaded from a regular state or they shift. And um, let me just give a demo first. So here's a left paddle and right paddle at the top. If you click the left paddle, you can see the output is, it's a little jerky, I think, because the simul simulation is a little jerky. But it's, it's flashing basically a bunch of dits. Dit, 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 dit. Um, and if you turn that off, they stop. And if you hit the right paddle, it goes da, 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 da. And then if you click them both, it goes dit, da, dit, da, dit, da, dit, da. And uh, let, me show, um, let me show that as a timing diagram here. We can look at how the, the left key, when it goes high, then a series of dits comes out. And then when they stop keying, it goes off. Well, that looks like it stopped a little late. Uh, and then here, when the right key goes up, a series of da's is sent, a dashes, with a three to one ratio of timing. And then if we turn on both of them, you'll see it starts alternating. Dit, da, dit, da, dit, da. And if you let go of the left key, it just c continues with da's. You put them back, the, both keys on, it's dit, da, dit, da again. You turn off the right key, and it just starts sending dits. And that's it. Um, so, well, I might make a video later about how <laughs> exactly this works, but I thought this would be just fun to, to take a look at this and, uh, and see that you can make a simulated electronic circuit that implements a key.